You know, whether you're Muslim, Christian, whatever, I think we're talking about the same God, ultimately. I, I, I truly believe in that. Um, and I would say at a certain point we ultimately did, because we believe in Jesus Christ as a mighty messenger who came with a unifying message that worship one God. Even when Jesus Christ was asked, what's the greatest commandment? Um, he said, hey, Ozo, your Lord, our God is one. Worship him with all your heart and all your might and love your brother like you all, love yourself, which I don't I have an issue is, with. All I know is at my lowest moments, I pray to God, right? Yep, yep. It doesn't matter if that's a Muslim God, a Christian God, a Jewish God, a, a Buddhist God, you know, you pray to God, don't you? And, and, and I that, think it matters, but you're not differentiating which God it is. You're just worshiping directly with God. And I think that's the right way to go about it. I think, it, you know... Does that make sense? I don't, I don't, I don't say this is a Jewish God or a Christian God. I'm saying, look, it's God. There's yeah. only one God. Yeah, I agree. Yeah? I'm saying that God is uniquely one. I'm saying God is self-sustaining, eternal. I'm saying God um, doesn't have offspring, nor was he born. And I'm saying that there's nothing comparable with God. And that's a four-line definition of God given in the Quran, in chapter 112. And I think that's a good way to kind of define God, to eradicate kind of atheism. Because you know, from nothing comes nothing. I don't think you have to eradicate atheism. I think each to their own. But for me, I believe in. I don't mean in I a rude way. In the sense that, <laughs> how do you feel about what I've said? I, I, I don't know. You know. I mean, as a concept. All I, all I have is my own relationship with God, and that's yeah. you know. And 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 I and I I think we're talking about the same God, and God's a good God, and I hope that He will look after you, and I hope that He will look after. Amen. Me. Can I can I entice you to read a perfectly preserved scripture? Because right now, you know... Quran. I've read the Quran. Yeah, what did you think? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've read it. I like you. What's your name, by the way? Gus. Gus. I've read the Quran, I've read the Bible. I, you know, I, you have to. Yeah. You know, and... and I and, find it fascinating. So, did it blow your mind? Yeah, but, you know, I... I, I, I don't, I've like never I met say, someone I, who's read... How much of it did you read, by the way? Cover to cover, but I, I struggle wow, with wow, it. Wow, I find wow, it hard wow. to read, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll be honest. And, and so with the Bible, mate, it's, it's very long, it's quite boring. <laughs> Let's be honest. Fair I, enough. I, um, no, no, yeah. the Bible is substantially longer than the Quran. Well, it's not that much longer. No, I think it's substantial. I think like triple the size, maybe? I'm, I don't even Double know if the I size, describe myself as a Christian. I, I, but I have a relationship with God and I feel lucky to have that. No, I, think, I think there's a lot of Christian philosophy that you adopt because you said God is good. Right. I think he's um, a good God, don't you? No, definitely, no doubt, no doubt. Um, what, how do you perceive Jesus Christ? God or sent by God? And I think that, that's what differentiates um, the fundamental teachings of Christianity and Islam. Because we're saying Jesus Christ is not God. And even in the Bible, um, a man came to him, said, Oh, good master. Jesus Christ said, Who are you calling good? Only God is good. The only, the only one is good, God. Does that make sense? Um, would you like the reference for that? Yeah, I would. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me give you the reference for that. So, no, I got it wrong, but I, I, um, no, I don't know. I, 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 I wouldn't. I'm going to sit on the fence. But you know, you're not sitting on the fence. I think, I think you're a wise man uh, who said a few many wise things. Let me just quickly give you the reference. Um, where are we? Um, okay, yeah, Mark 10:18. And um, why dost thou call me good? Okay, yeah. So, yeah, um, the previous quote I gave you um, was in regards to the oneness of God. Here is your, your Lord, our God is one. That's Mark 12, 29. And then the clem de la clem, when Jesus Christ said that for eternal life, that they may know the only God, only true God, and Jesus Christ who thou has said. As a Muslim, you think you I, said, yeah. all, all, of, no, no, all of these verses I can affirm, like it doesn't contradict the Quran. And if you look into Quran, Birmingham manuscript, we have a Quran that's been carbon dated to the time of the Prophet, peace be upon him. I don't want to take up too much of your time. I think we've had a really, I think, yeah, how, how long ago did you read the Quran? Uh, maybe two years. Two years. Yeah, I, 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 and I respect that, I respect that. And I think like, as I maybe, said, I, I'm not sure I'd describe myself as a Christian, but I have a relationship with God, whether that's a Muslim God, uh, uh, you know. But what, what, how is your life being impacted by your faith? It's fine that you pray to God in your darkest times, yeah? But then wouldn't God give you a complete way of life in regards to what to do, what not to do, how to live? And shouldn't that be perfect? It should be, but I'm a sinner. 
You see it? Get off the fence, sir. Get off the fence. You take care of yourself. Huh? Are you? I don't think you are. You're a wise man. <laughs>